All right, let me talk to you about this book, The Art of Charlie Chan Hak Chai. This is a, uh, it's got a lot of good reviews, so I was looking forward to it, and I was, I, I guess I was disappointed a little, and uh, let me tell you why. So, the book is about 300 pages long, and it's presented as like a fake biography, kind of, of this uh, cartoonist who's, Singaporean, is that a word? From Singapore, and it's kind of done in parallel with the history of the events that were going on in Singapore politics, which I knew, you know, next to nothing about. And this might be, you think, kind of like, you know, Mouse or Persepolis, one of these books like that, where there's a lot of history involved, where it can kind of open up that history for you so that when you want to learn more about it, you can, it's a little more accessible. This I felt maybe wasn't quite successful in that way. I'm not actually a big fan of Mouse either, but uh, this is, um, there are a lot of, okay, let me break this down. So there's like three kind of narrations, narratives that are going on in this book. And one is this artist's life and how he's struggling. And it's not an original story for an artist. I mean, almost every artist struggles to some degree to find success and not, demand, cave into the demands of popular commercialism, etc. But uh, this story feels similar to uh, a book by Toshihiro, no, excuse me, Yoshihiro Tatsumi, the Japanese manga artist who has this really fat book called A Drifting Life. I think it was made into a movie that I didn't see, but it's a similar kind of struggle and uh, story that has maybe a little happier ending. I don't really remember, but it's been a while. But this one, it was, I don't know, it just didn't work for me as a story. It, it, in addition to the history of Singapore, what was going on and relating to Malaysia, there's also this, uh, like I said, his, his story, but then there's also these kind of uh, works that he was doing, supposedly doing at the time. They're all done by Sonny Liu, who, by the way, is an amazing artist. I, I'm not I'm not flying him at all for his art. His artwork is very good and very uh, versatile. He changes styles. He does work in the style of like Walt Kelly's Pogo, of uh, Harvey Kurtzman's War Stories, of Mad Magazine, of Frank Miller's uh, Dark Knight Returns. So he can change styles. That's impressive. I'm I'm not like I said. I'm not knocking his art at all. It's very good art. And this is a 300-page book, so that's a very. I'm sure he worked on this for quite a while. The, uh, yeah, the story is the part that I didn't really have the full kind of attachment to. Like, uh, the character, there's only kind of one character, and all the other characters are pretty minor. And it doesn't really seem to develop. Like, you can kind of see from the outset how it's going to move through the book, and yet it doesn't really change much. So I was kind of a little, I guess, let down. Although the ending, the ending was kind of unique. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but it... I was kind of in admiration of the ending to a degree, but it just, it wasn't satisfying the book as a whole. Yeah. That's probably like the main thing I have to say about it. I, uh, but even having said that, I would look at other work by him for sure, because he, he knows how to tell a story. It just isn't, I think it doesn't really move enough. Nothing, not enough happens, maybe. Or it just doesn't feel like the political parts especially felt kind of weak in that they, it felt like those parts he was just talking about what was happening rather than getting us involved with the actions. It was kind of a little too textbook style. So yeah, that's my take on it anyways. If you like, who would like this book? If you like, like I said, if you like Osamu Tezuka, I didn't say that. <laughs> Where would that come from? Osamu Tezuka, who also created um, Astro Boy, he does, a, Sonny Liu does part of the book in his style, so that was kind of neat. If you're, but if you're a fan of like uh, manga, kind of alternative manga, not, not mainstream manga, I wouldn't say, or if you're like a fan of those artists that I mentioned earlier, then maybe you'll like this book. As for me, I thought it was a little, yeah, I wouldn't want to read it again, but I am curious about other works that he has done, so. That's my take on the art of Charlie Chan Hak Chai.